Bro, run! <laughs> so slow. Elephants! I actually can't, I can't stop that guy. It's <laughs> making me run on my own. He won! <laughs> How did his elephant win? Malay again versus Italians on Crater. New chair one, hopefully tomorrow, guys. My back is absolutely broken though. Hopefully tomorrow. We shall see. Tomorrow after tomorrow. It's dope and tense though. Yeah, I like enough. He's cool. What is this map? It's called Crater. If you're not familiar with it, basically you only get one boar and you get a big patch of deer and you have the wood at the back of the map with the middle very, very scarce of wood. And a lot of uh, relics in the center. All, all five relics in the center, in fact. So, um, yeah, it's pretty, um, it's a pretty aggressive map. So, are we, are we gonna do Elephant Rush again? <laughs> elephant Rush versus Italians. It's gonna be tough. But we'll, we'll see what we can do here with Mysterio. If I had balls, I'd rush to see elephants, but that would literally never work on this map. Literally never. Gotta make sure my pig isn't running away. Why was Bulgarian Paladin removed for Knight Stirrups? Just to make them more unique, I believe. And it makes their Connex way stronger. Like, honestly, I feel like having more unique civs in the game is actually really good. I, I, I've, I've recently, more so than ever, I feel like the civs have just become Knights, Archer, and Infantry civs. And then, you, it just like there's just some small differences between them. But for the most part, that's the difference between them. Like, just small things. And I, I feel like the civs should have a little bit more uniqueness, you know, to it. So I think stuff like that with the Burgundian, Burgundian getting stirrups instead of Paladin is a good thing for the game. It at least makes them different, which is really, really important for the game. JJJ2, thanks for the prime sub. You can't wall the slopes. Indeed, you can't sub pit mag. All right, we'll see what to do here. I guess with Malay archers can work. He might just go scout to the Italians. So that seems like a pretty good idea. I would try to just go arch, straight, straight arch. Let's see what happens. Rip Inca uniqueness? No, no, that's. I said uniqueness, not degeneracy. Inca rush is like way too like game breaking, in my opinion. Like that's difference. I, I think that's difference, honestly. You don't need a civic where you can like different from the start. Just make them, make them a bit more unique as the game develops. I suppose. Like that, that's just like the one trick strategy. I don't like that. That makes them dull in my opinion. And the Incas are already a very unique civ in my opinion. Contrary to popular belief, we think they're just another eagle civ, but no, no, no. They actually have really, really interesting options. Slingers is very interesting. Really good early game with Dark Cage. Give them, give them one better team bonus maybe and they'd be interesting civ. One big crater, everyone has a crater. No, one big crater, it goes around the map. <sighs> I think the Inca will rush let people sleep on Incas as a standard for a while. Yep, yep, yep. I agree with that actually. Do you think Step Lancers need a buff? Absolutely, they need... They need to get buff, like they need so much right now. I, I think I think Step Lancers, they got a small buff with the... They're like a bit cheaper, but I think they need to actually become better stat wise especially elite step lancer bro elite step lancer is actual garbage like it's so bad like i don't i don't understand what any how anyone would ever justify going for elite step lancer it's so bad it's actually terrible like i'm pretty sure castle knights can do fine against elite step lancers in some cases like it's one of the worst units in the game but step lancer and castle is okay i suppose but i think if they receive like an extra pierce armor in castle or, or in not in Castage, in Imperial Age with Elite, that'd be good. And maybe like an extra attack overall, I don't know. For the Elite version. Something like that. Something to make them like actually a huge power spike for certain civs. That shirt looked good. Yeah, glad you like it. It's a G Fuel shirt. Or are you talking about the blanket? The blanket is a Pokemon blanket with the G Fuel shirt.
Any info on hearts? Everything alright? Yeah, guys, you just slept. You slept on. He slept on. Yeah, you just slept. You slept on hearts. Get us some quick time wood. Have a lot of food intake. Adding 5% bleed or 5% cripple slow is sort of thing for the new civs. Yeah, but that's like kind of like League of Legends ideas, right? Or like MOBA ideas, like slows and burn and stuff like that. But I don't really think that has any any place in Age of Empires. Not really. Bro, why are they so far? Oh, they're so far from the TC. Oh! I'm out! Oh, I'm taking so much punishment! Get me to Feudal Age! How did he up so fast? Why am I up so slow? He's going scouts. He's going for the scouts. Got him, that's huge. Is he, wait, is he actually doing scouts or is he doing a 20 pop arch? Because I, I never really got a confirmation that he's doing scouts, just by the uptime. Okay, scouts, now I have confirmation. Not sure exactly what happened there, but cool he died. Another civil? Yeah. That's okay. That was a big mistake, huh? Go stable now. Not sure why the dock was trying to get free there.
his armor. I'm not really a fan of getting cleaned. Came arch clean like that. I mean, I did kill a few scrims in exchange, sure, but I'm not like the biggest fan of that trade. I think it's a pretty decent trade for me though. At least now, after that last bit, that's a good trade. Oh, you want? You know what I want to do? I want to do Elefanto crossball. Then that sounds powerful. That sounds very powerful. That sounds like something I can get behind here. Okay, it's two golds forward, so like some kind of all in would be good. Does he have crossbow? I don't know if I necessarily even need horse collar, honestly. All in is not gonna work. He's doing arch. I just get one or two to batter down the ranges. I think good decision not to make the second stable. I couldn't afford it. I thought I could, but I couldn't. Oh, <clears throat> Italians have good decent monks. Yeah, they have they have pretty decent monks, but I don't think like versus Expo you'll be able to just mass monks. Resistance there actually. Might be forced to tower if he counterattacks. He's not counterattacking. Ah, I missed up. I have him on the ropes. 
Elephantos are putting in work, bro. I'll tell you that much. I'm putting in work. If you told me today before the day started I went two games with melee elephants, I would have called you crazy. Bro, run! <laughs> so slow. <laughs> the guy was he he, he the guy didn't mind dying actually or getting converted. That guy was really getting convinced by the Pope. I feel like I have so many people in a wood yet, no woods. Elephants! I actually can't, I can't stop that guy, I need to make him run on my own. I guess a beast. Oh, I have this guy here. I'm trying to sneak back there and annoy him. Fast. Alright, let's put the pressure. I actually don't know if I can commit there. I'm scared of losing the fight than actually losing the game. Uh, should I do a chat? Can you guys hype me up so I can go in there and just YOLO it? Do I risk do I risk the game for a, for a move? That is some sexy shirt or jacket you are wearing. Respect, man. People like it, eh? He won! <laughs> How did his elephant win? <laughs> That's funny actually. Going for it. Ooh, GG. Rin plays games with the five gifted subs at the end of the game with elephants once again, man. Elephants with Malay, they're quite insane. They are very cheap. 250 HP. You get like a meat. This is like a steak. Chop it up, man. Nobody can win stand with the elephants. Literally no one. Combat Wombat. Well played here. Thank you. I think Malay needs second armor for Cap. No, 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 definitely not. Definitely not.